Okay, so today I've got the job of replacing the BBC blade brake clutch cable because at the end of last summer it snapped. So this actually runs all the way down here right around the back of the fuel tank and um, around here under here so this has all got to come off all right that's finally off let's keep pushing it with a screwdriver it's like a cap and underneath it there's a couple of grips so hopefully when you push it back on it's uh, it's like a one way. Right, the next bit to get out was this um, plastic. Plastic bit. It's got like a little extra part on it. So, what I did in the end, I couldn't pull it out. So, I actually cut the cable sleeve. So that then I could pull it right up and then it slides straight out like that. You see, it's got that little bit on it. So, when you obviously, when you put it back in again, put it over and down. But um, yeah, that's a learning curve. That bit I've watched videos before here and uh, on YouTube, not seen it, but yeah, rather than trying to wreck it with a screwdriver, I thought it might just pop out, but no, it actually. So there's a little piece of extra plastic that sits in the frame which makes sense really so it doesn't pop out when you're using it right on to the next bit okay so next um, it just goes through a plastic clip here just pull it off the frame it's like a lug hole behind there and it just slips out and the cable goes behind now behind here there's yet another bracket which is easily undone with that bolt at this stage you can just pull it out I'll need to undo that obviously in a minute to get the new cable back in and then we're really now down to all this front box area that's us with the um, covers off now and you can see there's the braid blade cable that goes onto this clamp I think that's quite important because that's the just the tension. Um, but taking off the cover there is quite easy. There's just four bolts. I won't go into that. It's quite straightforward, um, obvious. How that all comes off. But you can get to this, and then my famous thing of the hoovering out the bits. That's my old Dyson, so it's only used for this sort of work, not for the house. So there we go. Right, on to the next bit. I'll undo that clamp and then see how we hook this on underneath. Okay, another thing I've done here, I've just put a bit of black tape on the cable um, just so I can sort of line up the new one really, so I put it in the same position. Right on the end is this hook okay I couldn't get under there with my phone um, but go this behind there I'll try and get a picture of it underneath so I'll tip in the mower up on its side <coughs> See, there's a, a chrome hook. I can't really show this because I need about four hands to hold the mirror and do that. But at the top of that hook, there's the new spring in place. You see, it's got a, 
an opening in the hook on the spring. But what you want to do at the top of that chrome, call it a hook again, I don't know what it's called, you can just feed it over the top. So don't try and force it. And that is it hooked now onto the brake, brake, brake clutch, I hope. On to the next one. Okay, so um, that clamp's back on. It's probably about halfway along this exposed silver bit of braiding, I would say. I'm going to leave it at that for now. I've not tightened it up too much. And it just sort of sits. It's kind of weird. I think it would go through there, but it wasn't when I took it off, so I'm going to leave it like that. It just sits on a, a ledge there, really. It's nothing really that positive. And then the next thing was to put that bracket back there. And it doesn't clamp anything, that's all loose. And you go around. There was a cable tie here, which I'll put on after. And then back through this first ring bit that goes into the lug into the lower handle frame. Then up, and the next bit is to put the stop button back in. Right, okay, I've made a mistake there because I need to be able to get this in uh, quite a high angle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this one off again so I've got more slack this end because I can put it in and then just clamp it back on afterwards. So it's a bit of a mistake there, but um, hopefully doing this video it saves somebody a few minutes. Okay, so enough slack now. Just this bit. Pop it in. Pop it in like that. Push it down and that's in. And then obviously this part is going to go back on there. So I'll pop that on for now. There's a cap to go on the end, obviously. Um, and then what I need to do now is put that clamp back on. Okay, so next I'm just putting the stop switch back on. So again, our braid blade cable, brake cable, it's better off um, putting it on afterwards because obviously, as I say, you need to be able to turn the uh, plastic bit here about 45 degrees. So that on there is just not a bolt really. Right, okay, that's everything back together. Um, I still haven't put that cap on. We'll do that in a minute, but um, everything else seems all right. I did try and start it, but of course, when I work on things, like most people, what you should do is take off the spark plug, but I've put that back on now, so it took a couple of goes to start, and I forgot I've done that. So, it seems to be working all right. Um, it's engaging the uh, blade now, so I don't know what else, you know, whether it need, might need adjustment. I need to give it a good test run, really, on somebody's lawn, but at least now I know how to adjust it. So, um, good news is it's engaging, so it's not cutting the engine out or anything like that. So, I guess if I need to adjust it, I can, but it's, it seems pretty positive the way I've done it. So, it was working okay before, so I guess we put the cable back on again. Um, the cable I had hadn't really stretched, perhaps it just broke. Right, so there we go. Um, I'll just do a try and do a start up. Um, I haven't got a tripod or anything from the camera, but let's see if you can see it coming on. Um, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll start it and come back to you.
fixed everything back together, all tightened up, uh, cable ties on, double checked the clamps, and then of course put the uh, this little bit back on here. Had to sort of hammer and bash it back on. Whether um, that'll hold. So we'll see how that goes. Stop button. Not working. And just to say the part I need to get for this also needs to check your model number of um, Time Master. That was the one I had to get. And there's the bit. And that's the bit that cost me about an hour's mowing. So I had to get the other layer out and continue. And then obviously today about, well I did it slowly because I didn't want to mess anything up, but three or four hours of um, my time trying to sort it out on a dry day where it wasn't too cold or windy. Yep, there you go. Thanks for watching.